Yo, what's good guys? Coach of Tech here. So today we got another AIO to review. This one right here is a, from a Chinese company, man. Listen, Coach is loving his Chinese companies, man. This is the Vitro, uh, which one? The Vitro V360. Now, listen, quick heads up, yo. The reason why I like to do these more budget affordable things because, hey, you're going to go and, you know, drop two, three hundred dollars on these uh, Corsairs, these Cooler Masters, these Asus, AIOs, just makes no sense. So I want to see if this product right over here is going to basically justify its cost of a hundred dollars, number one, for a 360, or you could cop the 240, the 240 is going to run you like 80 bucks. Now, straight off the bat, this looks very similar to the ID Cooling Zoom Flow, the 360, which I'll review. I'll have it in the description below as well. But anyways, let's run through the presentation. I'm feeling it's a four hundred dollars. I'm feeling the presentation already. So we got the um, the RGP the RGB five volt three pin header. So make sure for all you cats out there, make sure your mobile has the five volt three pin RGB header. If you got the Gigabytes, the Asus, the MSI. What else we got? Okay, Gigabyte, Asus, MSI. Uh, always man, I always be slipping on some other. Way. Anyways, you know what I'm talking about, man. All these mobiles can't come to my mind right now. But anyways, I would say five volt three pin sync interface, PWM smart fan. So we get three fans, which is nice. Compatibility, we got Intel, we got 1366, everything through here. We got AMD, AM4, and everything through, through here, as you guys can see, all the one 360 mil uh, rad. Like I said, this is the 360 version. Up top, we got this. On the, on the back, let's flip it. On the back, it's nice here, I gotta say. Uh, all right, so PWM Fan 3. We got PET liquid delivery pipe. We got pure copper bottom, nice. We got model the V360, water block size 15.6. Uh, inches, 15.6, uh, 4.7 inches, I think I read this. Anyways, you guys check it. Pumps, we got uh, 2800 RPM. I'm not sure if it's PWM or not. Uh, plus or minus, I think it runs at max. Pump voltage, 12 volts. Pump size, 14, 14.9 14 fans. These are 120 millimeter fans. Fan speed, 1800 RPM. Now, again, I believe they are PWM, but why is it just at max PWM? I gotta check that out. But anyways, of course, made in China. Uh, what else we got here? We got this water block with high texture, function and design, etc., etc. You guys could read this right here. Pause it. What else we got? We can follow them at Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Vitro.com. Anyways, that's the website. But anyways, let's get the presentation open. Let's get the unboxing. I'm gonna put. Oh man, boxing struggles. All right, so we got a booklet over here. Basically. The Lurker, so it's called the Lurker V360. All right, my fault, Lurker V360. And it does say Lurker V360 in a big ass letters right here, but they kind of faded out, so my fault if I didn't read this. Lurker V360, my fault, yo. English is my second language, yo. Be nice. Calm down, coach. Anyways, everything here, we're gonna run through the instructions in a second. Uh, man, packaging is fire, man. I don't wanna hit this with the, with, with the, with the cam. Damn, packaging is nice, y'all, for $100, man. I'm feeling this. Look, beautiful. All right, let's, 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 let's take all these. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Let's take all this out. I'm feeling this. Looks very nice. Oh, I was about to say they only gave us two fans. I was about to say, hell no. All right, let me take all this out. Let me pop this out. All right, let's run through the instructional guys, uh, the manual quickly. Uh, okay, Lurker V360, as I mentioned. Basically, it tells you how to install everything. Very nice, uh, very nice breakdown over here. Um, Intel, AMD, basically just gives you the whole rundown. I believe you also get thermal paste. So very nice, looks pretty interesting, uh, pretty uh, informative, I meant to say, instructional guide. Anyways, these are the, the Vitro fans. I did review these fans. These are nice fans. You have your uh, four pin over here, PWM header, and you have your three pin ARGB header. Um, we're gonna check that out in a sec, and we're gonna install it. We have the accessories. We got what we got here. Okay, we have different mounting plates over here. So depending on whether you're using Intel or AMD, now I got to hmm. Okay, I guess AMD is. Uh, so we do have a vitro thermal paste over here, uh, and I'm not sure if this is AMD or Intel. Now I got to say in the ID cooling zoom flow, everything was nicely broken down. Unfortunately, in the vitro, it's not like that. Uh, so basically what I got to do next is I got to follow the manual essentially which block is it to install Let's see if I could uh, quickly AMD. So yeah, I got to basically do this on the go I got to check it out. But anyways, I got to run run through the installation myself. What's this? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I got that, that smell 
okay, so we got a little hub over here. So, wait, so how do I? Oh, okay, sorry, I'm bugging. So we got the splitter over here. So this you could put, plug this into your CPU optional header, I believe, or your regular uh, CPU fan header. But I, if you have a CPU optional header, just plug it in as optional header. If you, if you don't have a CPU optional header, just put it in the regular CPU fan header. And then this is your splitters over here, your females, females. You're gonna plug in the fans over here. Now this is a cool looking hub. So essentially this is for the ARGB. So you're gonna put three of them here, right? And then you're gonna plug this in via SATA. And then this end is gonna go with the ARGB three pin into your MOBO. Uh, if you don't have that, if you have a deep cool converter, you could just convert the signal as well. Uh, I believe this is a switch. I forgot oh, I believe this is for the reset button to switch colors, I wanna say. That's what it is. And this is mode. Oh, so you could, instead of you restarting your uh, computer to, for in, to basically take that, and then you could plug it into here, and then you're gonna press it every time it's gonna switch colors. That's basically that. Oh, let's check it out. This looks, this guys, this really looks like the ID zoom flow. I gotta say, very nice though, it's white. It does come in black. Forgot to mention, I got too hyped. Very nice. I am feeling this, very nice for the price. There's no insignia over here. There's no logo saying it's a vitro. We do only have a logo over here on the pump. You got the nice V, show you cats like that. You got the nice V, which is dope. Uh, the tubing is pretty good tubing. We have the pump header over here, and then we have the, th yeah, so the pump is not PWM, it's gonna run at max RPM, it's only three pin, it's not PWM. Uh, I, I don't believe it's actually PWM, I gotta check it out, but I doubt it. And then this is the ARGB, uh, this this ARGB, oh, okay, so this is why they gave you the fourth one. So you see the fourth one over here, so you're gonna plug it into, so you're gonna plug it into here, essentially, that's why they gave you all four. So you're gonna plug it into here, and then you're gonna essentially, you know, have your all your RGB, ARGB effects, and then you're gonna be, you could plug this in via, you could get another splitter and just plug this in, or you could just plug it in into your uh, MOBO as well. But that's basically it. Let's pop this bad boy on. I am curious and you just wanna peel this, make sure you just peel it, right? So you just peel it and then you put in the thermal paste. You could use the thermal paste which comes with the uh, cooler. Uh, where is it? Somewhere here. This thermal paste over here, which comes with the cooler, you could use your own. In the testing, I am gonna use the Vitro thermal paste which they provided this one over here but anyways uh let me install everything let me see how the installation is gonna go but i am feeling this for 100 bucks we get a nice 360 mil rad that looks pretty dope what does that say warranty voided if removed okay so you get a little warranty voided if removed stick over there but anyways let's get to it so guys i'm in the middle of basically installing the uh, the aio now i gotta be a hunter with you guys this is probably this is definitely the i want to say the like the, the the most like difficult instructional guide ever basically made it's terrible basically put it this way it's terrible that's the instructional guide we're going to go over in the middle i'm going to help you cats out so anyways so if you are using an intel motherboard right if you're using an intel processor you're going to have to use this backplate now remember this backplate is only for intel if you're using amd disregard it it's you don't need it um this these standoffs and the bracket it's again only for intel all right, now inside this bracket, you also, at least for me, they had screws. They had little small screws which actually install, right? Right over here, you see these screws, these four screws? You have to basically install them, right? The bracket, these are bracket screws, right? These bracket screws were basically in the Intel, I don't want to call it Intel, but I guess everything was separate. You could say in, in this basically baggie, right? So make sure you find these screws, not these screws, not these big screws. You see these little small big screws with the big head? Not these. So you want the small ones, they're usually in this bag. You are just to look for the small ones. But regardless, it's gonna be only for Intel. This is Intel. All right, it's very simple. You just put it like how I did it right here with the AMD. You could follow this instructional guide. I'm gonna show you guys in a minute, but you could just put these brackets here and then and basically screw them on to the back plate here. That part is very simple. Now for AMD, as I was mentioning, for AMD, you're going to essentially use, you see the regular AMD bracket you have over here, this black bracket and this back black bracket, this is what you're going to basically use to install the AIO, right? So you have these standoffs, right? And then you have 
these standoffs, right? So you're basically gonna clip it and then this is gonna be a retention and you screw them on. So all you have to do is just use this bracket, this smaller bracket, right? And then screw it in from the bottom, right? For, you have two screws here, two screws here. And then what you're gonna basically do is you're gonna line it up to those two, um, sorry, to those two brackets. And then you're just gonna slap it on and basically just put the retention and that's all it is. That's all you have to do is, it's very simple, but this instructional guide, right? Is just terrible because it doesn't go over that it mostly goes over more for intel processors like it tells you but for amd it doesn't it's like very very difficult it even tells you basically everything for intel intel uh what else we got again mostly for intel intel amd basically just tells you to put thermal paste on it and then it gives you a um it gives you again for intel the basically the bracket the long bracket this where is it this long bracket right remember we spoke about this long bracket you have to put and then again it's mostly for intel it's like no instructions here for amd it doesn't help you out whatsoever and then this is the back and then of course it just breaks you down breaks everything down here of what the what the basically components or the parts are but here in the end it, again it gives you like it's 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 terrible the instructions here are absolutely terrible guys that's what i'm going over because it's very very difficult i i had a some a uh, bit of a hard time trying to understand this as well so anyways i got it you know but anyways this is like that now when you do install this bracket make sure it's facing uh up top not on the bottom because if it's going like this you're not going to be able to re retain it so essentially just you see how i have it mounted mounted the same way i have it mounted if you have amd uh, if you have intel's also same thing just put these in here put those screw on with these little screws and that's basically it and that's it and then you're going to use this hub right if you're going to use this hub basically to connect the fans if you have argb three uh three pin five volt you could synchronize them to the motherboard to have all the argb colors i have the converter so i'll be just using the converter and these are uh, this baggies for additional screws and whatnot for case screws for fan screws i want to say these little guys are fan screws these longer screws let me see the camera and focusing these longer screws are fan screws for your radiator fan screws and these small screws are i believe fan screws if you're not using it if you're just a case fan screws and then you have more retention screws and whatnot but that's uh that's basically it and of course the thermal paste and these are the fan uh the fan splitters um i hope this helped out let me know in the comments below guys I guys, so everything is installed. Let's run through some RGB colors first of these fans and then let's talk about the uh, pump noise speed and let's talk about the um, the temperatures we get on idle. So I just have this on basic rainbow. What I did is I'm using my restart button, right? That comes with, the, with your case, you have a restart button here. So you could have two options. You could either use this, right? If I press this, the colors are gonna change, right? I'm pressing it, press it one more time. Colors are changing. Or you could use the ARGB functionality via the MOBO since I don't have a three pin ARGB header. I'm just pressing the restart button. So what also happens is now if you want to restart the computer, unfortunately you cannot because now this button automatically is, um, you know, in plugged in into that hub. So now it restarts. So yeah, you, you're not able to restart the computer, but you could change color. So we have green, we have this green, we have this blue, we have darker blue and we have white. There's no brightness adjustment. You know, what you see is what you get. And then we have rainbow. And then you have all these other effects that basically do a bunch of things. And you have breathing effects. I'm just gonna cycle them quick. We have this pulsating effects. I mean, you know, decent amount, man. With these fans, not too bad. I gotta say, not, not too bad. And then you have rainbow, and that's basically it. Now what I wanna basically, well, let's address actually what we got going on here. So this is the Ryzen 7 2700X. It's overclocked to 4.0, uh, 4, 4, 4 gigs. Oh my God, I'm losing my mind here in my mouth. Four gigs. Uh, the temperature is fluctuating like 30 and it just jumps up out of nowhere. It's like 30 Celsius. So at idle, we got like 30 seconds. Also, I want to mention something. When installing this, um, installing the, the, the pump or the AIO itself, for at least for AMD, the problem is what I had was the metal brackets that clamp on, they kept on slipping off. So be very careful on that. That's kind of an effed up design. This happened to me. This probably also might have happened to you guys that when you were trying to install and you were tightening in the retention, it kept on like popping off. So I don't know. Let me know if you guys experienced the same thing because I was it was a very difficult process to usually when it just clamps on, it's fine. You do the retention and that's it. But I had this issue. Let me know if you guys had the same issue. I'm not too sure if it was just my unit 
or it's a common issue, common problem. That V, I gotta say, is absolutely lit. It's five, it's epic. This is, and it switches colors, you see? That's cool. The V switches colors when I do that, that's awesome. That V is hot. I'm loving it. Now let's do a sound, now let's just do a sound test with the panel on and off with the pump. In my personal opinion, I think the pump is loud, bro. Like, you just hear, like it's loud. And son, I better not hear comments telling Kosher, you have a, you have your AIO installed this way, dude, with the tubes, man. That's why it's making so much noise, bro. Yeah, I don't want to hear that. I know I'm going to hear it just because I mentioned it. I, I know you savages. I know how you work. <laughs> but guys, the pump is loud. Yeah, I want you guys to hear the pump is loud. Like you just hear the the mechanical sound of it. It's loud. The fans are all low. Bro, let me take it off and let me do the same thing. Let me know what you guys think. So the side panel is off. Now the pump the pump is not PWM, guys. It basically just runs at 20, 2,800 RPM. Uh, again, I'm going to put the mic there by the pump. Again, you do hear it on the zoom flow. The, actually, the funny thing is on the, um, what was it? The ID cooling zoom flow. The pump was fire, man. It didn't make this much noise. But again, look, look, I want you guys to hear it. Honestly, it's like you just hear that mechanical, like the motor, you just constantly hear it. I mean, it's not a big deal when the side, pan side panel is closed. You really can't hear it with the fans turned up. But... You guys are gonna ask. I'm letting you guys know that you do hear it. You know. All right. Let's check out the. Uh, let's check out these fans now. Let's go. Guys, almost forgot. Check this out. So you see the wire, right? You see the pump wire, the the pump uh, power wire, and uh, basically the wires here, right by the pump. Now, this is kind of effed up because usually in normal sense it'll be on the right hand side and it'll just go right through, right through here to the opening to that hole, right? But you see how you have to just keep this in mind. The wiring is going to be annoying because it's coming from the left. I don't like that. I don't know why it's coming from the left. Like now the wire is visible. Usually when it comes from the right, you could just hide it in there. It's not going to be as visible. Just want to minor gripe I have. Like you see how I had to hide it. You know, I'm not feeling that. So keep that in mind. Um, if this is something that you, you know, no go for you automatically. I wanted you guys to know usually the majority of, um, AIOs that have the you know the wires all coming from the right instead of it coming from the left. I just want to uh, share that with you cats. And this RGB, the, um, the Asia Horse RGB heat sinks are looking nice. Let's go. All right, so I got the fans running now. I have them basically at a thousand RPM. Uh, they are kind of strange. Every time you, you're gonna basically hear them speed up, they kind of make they kind of speed. I don't know. They they make this weird sound. These fans. Um, I'm not too sure. Like when they speed up, it's like they're going, but they're maybe they're like slowing down. Like I don't know. It, it's weird. Again, if you guys are having the same issue, of course, as always, let me know. So this is at 1,000 RPM. Let's hear it. They sound very quiet. The only thing I hear is the pump. That's the only thing I mostly hear is the pump. But they're sounding very, um, basically very quiet on their end. Uh, let's turn them up. Now this is like at 13, you see like they're slowing, speeding up and then slowing down. I'm not sure if these are the fans or what the heck's going on with them, but essentially this is how they sound. And this is on max. Yeah, not too sure about these fans. From what it sounds like, I would definitely not recommend them. They're sounding hella strange and they're loud. So yeah, let me know if this is going on with your unit too, guys. Like I said, if this is how it is, bruh, I definitely don't recommend them, yo. Know?
So I actually did rewire the fans from the back. Basically just took the splitter and just took the fan, uh, took the fan header and plug it back in the splitter and basically just reconnected everything just to make sure that it's not my F up or what's up. So it seems like these fans are just no bueno. So be very careful. You guys heard it like speeds up, slow, like slows down and just they get too loud. Um, be very careful with these fans. If you do have the same issue, definitely let us know in the comments, man. I, I don't know if it's, this is a common thing or just my unit. I would want to say it's a common thing because these fans, I don't know, they're, 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 they're playing with kosher right now. They're playing with kosher, so I don't know what's what with these fans. Just keep that in mind. All right, so I have everything up and running. I have Ida 64 basically running here. We got here for an hour and seven minutes. It's doing a hell of a job, man. 51 Celsius for an hour. But four gigs, 27, Ryzen 7 2700X. What I now want to do is I want to just have Valley looping, looping in the background, heat up the GPU a bit, get some more heat in this, uh, in this case, and basically see how high the, the CPU temps are going to go. But for now, it's doing hella well, man. It's doing really, really well. Let's turn them up. So I do have Valley running right now. So I just basically have the fans here at 50%. Like I said, I want to generate as much heat as possible. So what we got here, we got 57 degrees, 57, 56 degrees Celsius. Again, four gigs, nothing has changed. So listen, that's not bad. What, what, what was it like around when it went up like five degrees, four degrees. All right, so now it's at 57. So that's where it's basically ranging. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's doing a hell of a job cooling it. I mean, at the end of the day, it's doing a good job, but like I said, these fans are a little acting up, they're a little strange. So let me know if you guys have the same issue with the fans. Um, overall, man, overall pretty decent AIO, I gotta say. You know, if you're looking for something on a budget side, I would I would definitely recommend this. Just that wiring, I just I just don't like that how they did that like that. But overall, that V, the the RGB on it, dope, man. Dope AIO performs hello well as you guys could see. The fans, you know, it is what it is. You guys could always replace it. But something to start off with, something to just rock, uh, you know, it performs, man. Let me know what you cats think, you know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you guys have the AAO, if you guys are thinking about copping it, let me know what you guys think. But anyways, guys, I'm Kosher Tech. I'm going to catch cats next time. Deuces.